In 2026, AI detectors are deciding grades, jobs, and credibility. But what if AI detectors are wrong? Today, I'm testing one of the most talked about AI detectors, Winston AI. Together in this video, we'll see how accurate it really is, where it works, and where it fails. If you are a student, writer, content creator, or teacher, this video could save you from making super expensive mistakes. So definitely watch on and don't forget to take notes during the video. Before we dive straight into the test, let's talk a little bit about how AI detectors actually work. There are two major principles that help us understand how AI detectors work. The first is called perplexity. Perplexity basically means how predictable the text is. If the perplexity is low, the writing is very predictable, that means it's AI writing. And if the perplexity is high, as in the text has more unexpected wordings, unexpected twists and turns, it signals a more human-like writing. But there's a problem with this. Good writers can also write clearly and predictability. The result, we get a lot of false positives. The second principle where AI detectors work with is called burstiness. This basically means how much variation there is in sentence length and structure. If you notice, humans write in bursts. There are short sentences followed by long sentences, emotional sentences followed by informational sentences. There are a lot of sentence fragments, questions, etc. AI writing tends to be too consistent. So AI detectors measure the burstiness in a piece of writing and then decide if it's written by a human or an AI. But there's a problem with this as well. Formal writing, academic writing, and people who have English as a second language, such kind of writing also tend to have low burstiness. This also results in false positives. One more important thing to understand about AI detectors in general is that they never give you a fully 100% answer that AI wrote the text or a human wrote the text. Instead, they give you a probability scoring. This is basically a probability that's calculated by the AI detectors based on these two patterns. Now that we have a basic understanding of how AI detector works, let's talk about Winston AI. I'm super happy to introduce you to Winston AI, which is my favorite AI detector as well. This is the website of Winston AI. You can head over to the link in the description of this video or on the first comment and this is the website you will see. It's super simple, super intuitive. It has multiple features like AI detector, plagiarism checker, AI image detector, fact checker, writing feedback, and a super cool HUMN1 website certification. Basically, it's a certificate that tells you that your website text is human or AI generated. Winston AI is trusted by writers, academicians, publishers all over the world. And today we are going to do a deep test to see how it works. Before that, let me show you a quick glance at the pricing plans of Winston AI. If we go for the monthly plans, the free plan gives you 2000 credits and a 14 day free trial. You can test out all the features, including AI content detection, AI image detection, and you can scan documents and scan pictures as well. The essential plan is 750 rupees per month, which comes up to about $8 per month, where you get 80,000 credits per month. And you can test out the AI content detection, AI image detection. You can scan pictures, handwritings, etc. The advanced plan comes up to 1250 rupees per month, where you get 200,000 credits per month. You get a all the features in the essential plan aside from that you also get the humn1 website certification and you can add up to five team members the elite plan is for bigger teams where you get 500,000 credits per month you get advanced plagiarism detection you get all of the features in advanced plan plus you can add unlimited team members you can also top up credits if you run out of them you can also go for the annual plan where you save a ton of money for each of these plans. We can see that this is super generous. It is not expensive at all for such a valuable tool with so many features. So you should definitely give it a try by heading over to the link in the description of this video. Now let's log in and get started with our tests. 
we are going to do four types of tests today in this video first we are going to test with pure ai generated text for that i asked chat gpt to write me a 300 word description about ai detectors and this is what chat gpt came up with i'll just copy it head over to winston ai click on new scan and then paste the text here you can see that there are multiple options you can also upload a file or you can import from an url as well and while checking if you want writing feedback you can toggle this button if you want play fact checker you can toggle this button and you can also toggle this button for plagiarism checker for now we are just testing it for ai and i'll click on scan text the results are here and we got a human score of only one percent this basically means that the content closely aligns with patterns typical of AI generated text. We are highly confident that this material was produced by using an AI language model. And if you scroll below, there's an AI prediction map which shows you sentence by sentence breakdown of how likely your text is AI generated. This one has every sentence lit, lit up in red and each sentence has a human score of zero. Basically, it means Winston AI is super powerful in detecting text generated by ChatGPT. But what about fully human written text? Does Winston AI give us false positives and mark human written text as AI? Let's test that out. So this is an article I recently published. It is about my 2025 year in pictures. This is a fully human written article. And uh, I, I was very emotional while writing this as well. So I will just copy uh, this URL from here, head over to Winston AI, click on a new scan, and then I'll click on import from URL. Here I'll paste the URL of my article, click on import URL. This text has been pasted here. It's like 5,700 words. It's a long article. But we are going to scan this text for AI and see how Winston AI fares. The results are here and we have an 85% human score. This content closely matches human linguistic structures and nuances. We are highly confident it was written by a human. When we go down to the probability heat map, we see that there are a few sentences that have a low human score. Uh, they basically sound more like AI writing. If you take a closer look at these sentences, you can see these are very generic sentences, maybe not very emotional sentences, uh, but it gives you a good idea. If you want to improve your human score further, it gives you a good idea of which sentences you need to change and edit to get a higher human score. But if you ask me, 85% uh, human score is pretty solid. If you are a student or a publisher, this score should be good to go because after such a high human score, nobody's going to doubt that your text was uh, AI generated. In fact, if you get a higher human score than this, then maybe your text might be humanized using a humanizer. So that might again be a red flag. But we'll talk about that later. Now coming to the third part, what about lightly edited AI text? I was working on a post where the idea was mine, but I had generated it using chat GPT and then I edited it using my own brain. It was lightly edited AI text. It's not fully AI generated. Let's scan text and find out what Winston AI has to say about this piece of content. This text got a human score of 26%. So the content presents a mix of characteristics with moderate signs of AI influence. Human authorship is plausible but not assured. And if we scroll down to the AI prediction map, we can see which sentences actually triggered this low human score. There are some sentences which are a high human score, but some are low human score. So if you were editing your article for a magazine or you're editing your essay for publishing to a school, these are the sentences you need to work with. These are the sentences you need to change. But I would like to highlight the fact here that Winston was accurately able to predict that my content was a mix of characteristics with moderate signs of AI influence. 
So this goes on to show that Winston is pretty powerful in detecting AI influence and it does not blatantly mark it as AI written. It does not make it a false positive. I am very happy with this result and I think this matters because a lot of AI detectors, if they see a mix of human and AI, they are going to put it as 100% AI. But Winston was honest with us and in today's times, such kind of honesty and transparency is super important when it comes to AI detector tools. Now let's talk about humanized AI text. So what is the meaning of humanized AI text? There are a lot of tools called AI humanizers that basically you have to paste your AI generated text into the humanizer and that will re-spin the content in such a way that the perplexity is high in that text and also the burstiness is high in that text. To an AI detector, it will be marked as human written text. But if you actually read through it, sometimes it doesn't really make sense because in the attempt of making it too bursty or too perplex, the AI humanizers might go overboard and to a human eye reading that text, it might not exactly make sense. But that again is a story for another day. Let's test out humanized text against Winston AI. We are testing gpthuman.ai. This is one of my favorite AI humanizers because this has never disappointed me. If you are looking for an AI humanizer tool, you can check out GPT Human by clicking the link in the description of this video. I have also created a detailed video where I have tested GPT Human against six different AI detectors. You can find that video linked right here. I think GPT Human is a must have tool for any writer, student or educator. So we are going to log into GPT Human, copy the text from chat GPT once again and then click on humanizer. I'll paste the text here and select humanize. I got this humanized text from here. I will copy it and then head over to Winston AI. Click on a new scan. Paste the humanized text here and select scan text. The results are here and we have a 99% human score. See, I told you, we have compared this score with the actually human written text and my human written text had a score of 85%, but this humanized text has a score of 99%, which again could be a red flag in many cases because I have tested this across multiple times, like so many times when I write my articles, I check it on Winston AI and I have noticed that I never get 99% or 100% on my own human written text. But when I test it against humanized text, I always get it 99%, which is a very interesting thing to notice. I would love to know what are your thoughts on this conundrum. Uh, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments. So we have completed this four tests against Winston AI and we have come to the conclusion that it's a super powerful AI detector and a must have tool. So who should use Winston AI? It's good for educators, publishers, editors and students and freelancers should use it with caution because a text that's flagged as 99% uh, human might not actually be human written. It might also be humanized text. So you cannot use an AI detector score as a sole proof. You need to use your own judgment, your own thinking and your own analytical skills as well. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found some value here. I would love to know your thoughts. Please do share it in the comments. And once again, I'd like to remind you, if you like to try Winston AI, you can head over to the link in the description of this video or on the first comment to get started today. You can always use the free trial where you get 2000 words to test out all the features before committing or making a purchase. If you learn something new from this video, please do share it with your writer friends so they can get some new insights as well. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Please do subscribe to my channel. I make new videos pretty much every week and I would love to see you again for the next video. Keep hustling and take care. Cheers.